coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Welcome to another episode of Just Calvin. <laughs> hey, welcome to uh, another episode uh, of Just Calvin, a uh, global green brain review. And this is where I go on to uh, just pretty much report or read off what the uh, Green Party, uh, Green Parties uh, in every country I can find, and as much English as I can find, and I report that. So if you like what you're about to hear, please uh, support the channel with a subscribe, comment, uh, thumbs up, and share. Uh, first, we go to Green Party uh, Canada, where Green Party says Canada must step up and lead at Glasgow Climate Conference. This is dated a couple of days ago, so October 28th. As more than 120 world leaders get to, uh, get ready to meet in Glasgow for the 26th Conference of the Parties of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, or COP26, Green Party Parliamentary uh, Leader uh, May, uh, who is an MP from Senate Gulf Islands, is calling on Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to step up and be the leader the world needs to, to deliver real progress in the fight against global warming. I think I said global, I meant global. And it quotes, Mr. Trudeau must grasp this opportunity to demonstrate that Canada is turning over a new leaf, said Ms. Fred, Ms. May. He can announce that we are committed to doing what is necessary in canceling the trans mountain pipeline ending fossil fuel subsidies, banning fracking, and bringing in the strong safety net through a just transition bill for energy sector workers. Ms. May will be attending the Glasgow negotiations along with Green Party MP elect Mike Morris uh, of Kitchener, Kitchener Center, uh, adding to uh, his 12th conference of the parties. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, heading to my 12th conference of the parties, the gesture says. I am determined that the carbon spent on the flight is more than offset by successful green energy to push for meaningful change, she said. As co-chair of the Global Green Supplementarians Association, I will work I will assist, I have worked with electric greens from around the world in key positions to press for success at COP26. We are dangerously near tipping points that threaten humanity's survival. Failure is not an option. Mr. Morris said that COP26 is a critical moment to keep a safe climate future within reach. Canada must step up, he said. It's past time for our federal government to accelerate its targets and action to align with climate, climate science. After 15 years of mobilizing action at the local level, I am looking forward to joining broad coalitions of people and organizations advocating at COP26 for our government to, to do its fair share in the push for climate justice. This next one is from Green Party of the UK. Green Party co-leader Adrian Ramsey warns budget is taking us in the wrong direction, long quotes. Responding to the Chancellor's autumn budget today, Wednesday 27th, Green Party co-leader Adrian Ramsey said, in quotes, once again the Chancellor has shown that he simply does not understand the scale of what is required to tackle the climate crisis. In fact, by cutting our passenger duty and boasting about cheaper fuel for cars, he is taking us in wrong, he is taking in the wrong direction. The public is ready for urgent action on climate. Ninety-four percent support our policy for a carbon tax, and they understand that climate action means better quality of life with warmer homes, cleaner air, and cheaper and more accessible public transportation. 
being held back by a chancellor who said who sees the green transition as a cost rather than an opportunity. Did Rishi Sunak miss the memo about us being in a climate emergency? This next one is from greens.org and in, uh, I believe it's Australia. This is dated today at least, uh, this is my time anyway, uh, and it's entitled, have, you, have Your Say, Jonathan Davis seeks to be back on plans to revitalize the lake. I may get this wrong, Tuggeranog, Tuggeranog, for, uh, for sure. I says for sure. Anyway, uh, member for Brenda Bella Jonathan Davis MLA is seeking feedback from the residents there to inform the planned works to revitalize the lake for sure. I'm really pleased that the act of government has committed to a complete revitalization of the lake. I'm going to try this again. Tugger Anang uh, for sure uh, as part of the 2022-2021 Act, uh, or sorry, 2021-2022 uh, Act budget. In March, I was pleased to join the Minister for Water, Shane uh, Roddenberry, MLA, to officially launch three floating wetlands in the lake, designed to limit bluegrass al uh, algal, uh, algal uh, blooms and keep uh, and help keep our lake uh, local lake clean and healthy. In June, I worked with my liberal colleague uh, Nicole Lauder, MLA, calling on the Act government to invest more in amenity around the uh, around the lake foreshore, in what the Canberra Times described as a seismic shift in Act politics. I've long said that I'm prepared to work with anyone from any political party if it means securing outcomes for, uh, again, what we'll tribe council, uh, to Guranong as an active local member that is my number one responsibility. I've launched a survey to help inform the government's investments, uh, investments. I want to know how to Tagranites would like to see the amenities around the lake improved. I'll compile the feedback into a comprehensive report and present that report to Minister Chris Steele, MLA. And the survey can be accessed via Jonathan Davis MLA's website at www.jonathandavis.com.au slash lake Tagranong. I saw some not five days ago that I didn't realize five days ago. I was going to say this on anyway, but uh, let's see, from Reuters, or I don't know how you pronounce that, but anyway, uh, in Istanbul, it was five days ago, uh, uh, Erdo Erdogan says Turkey signed 3.2 billion green climate fund deal. Okay, so let's see, President Tayyip uh, Erdogan said, on Wednesday, Turkey has signed a uh, memorandum of understanding under which it will receive loans worth 3.2 billion to help it meet clean, clean energy goals set out in the Paris Climate Accord. Uh, sources somewhat familiar with the plan said earlier this month that Turkey was to receive the loans under a planned deal funded by the World Bank France and Germany. We have put down the signature in the past days for the mem uh, memorandum of understanding to provide our country with 3.157 billion from the Green Climate Fund for which we have been holding negotiations for some time, uh, Erdogan said, told members of his ruling AK party. Sounds kind of interesting as far as that part goes. I guess we'll have to find out what happens. His last piece of news is from uh, uh, Green Global News, or Global Green News, excuse me. Uh, Green Party of England and Wales recognizes climate refugees. This is put up on uh, Halloween. 
So, literally yesterday. The Green Party of England and Wales voted on the 23rd of October to expand the definition of refugee to include those who have fled their homes due to the climate emergency. The motion also proposed including these, I'm sorry, those persecuted on the grounds of any characteristic protected under the Equal Equality Act of 2010, such as LGBT rights as refugees. It was passed through, it was passed with overwhelming support, according to Benelli uh, Hemdat, uh, Green Party Migration and Refugee Support for, uh, spokesperson. The statement comes as the UK House of Commons reviews the Nationality and Borders Bill, a piece of legislation that seeks to curb illegal immigration and remove immigrants in the UK who have arrived by illegal means. The bill includes such provisions as four years jail time for those who arrive illegally and has and have been criticized by human rights groups of freedom from torture as the biggest legal assault on international refugee law ever seen in the UK. Uh, and Doc uh, said that what the Green Party Conference agreed today is a compassionate antidote to the cruel hostility this government is showing toward refugees and asylum seekers. Climate uh, refugees uh, are an issue of increasing concern for human rights groups worldwide. World Bank estimates that over 140 million people could be displaced by the climate crisis by 2050. In the fact, uh, in the fa face of this growing crisis, many fear that human rights may go by the wayside, lead, uh, leading to climate apartheid. Governments have been taking notice. In the U.S., the Biden administration re recently released a report on the impact of climate change on migration, acknowledging that more needs to be done. Still, some have expressed dismay with a lack of con concrete policy proposals containing within the report. Emily Tower, founder of nonprofit activist for climate refugees, suggested that Biden administration include a plan to expand refugee categories to include climate refugees. However, the proposal did not make it into the final report. Let's go to past minutes. Green Party of Nova, uh, Nova Scotia elects new leaders. This past Saturday, on the 23rd, uh, aerospace engineer and political activist Anthony Edmonds was elected party leader, receiving 86 of the possible 93 votes. The Dalhousie, I guess Dalhousie uh, alumnus and Halifax residents will lead the party along with former journalist and long-time Green Party representative Joe Ann Roberts, who will serve as deputy leader. The pair was the only ticket on the election ballot after their opponents dropped out of the race just a few weeks prior to elections. I like to know why they backed down later. The new leaders plan to focus primarily on party growth and fundraising as they look ahead to the next election cycle, which is scheduled to take place in four years. While the Green Party in Nova Scotia currently has less than 300 registered members, Edmonds and Roberts say they will pull all the, out all the stops to add more members to Nova Scotia's fastest growing political party. We will be spending time knocking on doors, holding events, building the party, and building the brand, says Roberts. While pushing hard for power grow, party growth, Edmonds and Roberts also plan to act fast to form a shadow cabinet that will hold the province of the Legislative Assembly accountable and engage with the public. According to Roberts, the shadow cabinet will allow the Green Party to be the, more, to be the conscience of the government and the opposition and to call the government out when they are not acting responsibly and not giving up, not living up rather to their promises. In his acceptance speech, Edmonds called for unity around the common vision, common values and common goals of the party. Nova Scotians 
want what they want. They have the values they have, and those values align with ours, said Edmonds. The newly elected leader also added that the party will do whatever it takes to make sure the values in the Nova Scotians are represented. GGN also reports U.S. Green Party condemns Canada invoking treaty to keep Line 5 open. Green Party of the United States is condemning the Canadian government attempted attempt to invoke a 1977 treaty in the escalating legal dispute surrounding the closure of Enridge Line 5 pipeline. Line 5 moves across oil, uh, moves crude oil from Superior, Wisconsin to Sarnia, Ontario, passing through the Straits of Mackinac along the way. This six kilometer stretch of the pipeline is at risk of leaking into the Great Lakes with potentiality or potentially severe consequences for the environment and amid concerns of a leak. Michigan Governor Christian Whitmer ordered the pipeline shut down in November of 2020, but the pipeline company Enrich refused. They are now embroiled in the legal battle. Canada had previously pressured the Michigan government to keep the pipeline open. On October 4th, the Canadian government invoked a 1977 treaty that called for an unintended flow of petroleum between the two countries with the only exception being made for natural disaster or emergencies. Canadian Foreign Affairs Minister Mark Garneau uh, stated that Canada is firmly committed to ensuring its energy and economic security. Oh, and by the way, apparently uh, Canada just had an election and Green Party didn't do very well. I think, uh, I think they maintained two uh, seats while Trudeau and his party won. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Mark Dunley, co-chair of the Eco Action Committee of the United States and Green Party spokesperson, spoke to Global Green News about the pipeline. He said he strongly opposed what he called a desperate effort in the Canadian government to use the 1977 treaty. He said that the American Green Party has long advocated have, have, has has long advocated the half or help to uh, all fossil fuel infrastructure and the rapid uh, phase out of all uses. Concerns regarding the pipeline including, included uh, catastrophic oil pipeline rupture and the ex existential crisis of climate change. Dunley's statement ends by pointing out that the treaty the, uh, that the Canadian government should be working to comply with are the ones with the various indigenous peoples who oppose the many such pipelines that pollute and destroy their lands and their communities. Indigenous tribal leaders have expressed opposition to the continued uh, operations of, of Line 5. Bay Mills Indian Community President or Indigenous Community President Whitney Graybell claimed that tribal nations and treaty rights in the area supersede the interests of uh, Enbridge or, or Canada. It is not clear whether the dispute will resolve in Canada's favor, but some have doubts. A Toronto based trade lawyer Mark Warner pointed to another article in the same treaty that allows for appropriate governmental authorities to make decisions regard, regarding pipeline safety. And that was, I suppose, your Green Party, uh, Global Green Party News. Now I have to. Uh, the disclaimer here: I am in no uh, way affiliated with uh, Green uh, with uh, the Global Green Party. However, um, I am a non-paid uh, member of the Green Party of Ohio. Um, so I wanted to um, start restart. I guess you could say a relaunch of the Green Party news I have been doing for the past year, um, just by going Green Party, and uh, given that. 
the green, uh, there is a Global Green Party News um, website, but I haven't found a YouTube channel of it. And an idea came up came from uh, from a friend who said that uh, there there should be a Global Green Party YouTube channel. So uh, while this is not the global YouTube channel itself, uh, it is a theme of Just Calvin. Um, so the Just Calvin. Uh, Global uh, Global Green uh, News. Anyway, thanks for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you like any part of the news I just uh, permit, uh, I just uh, told you. Um, subscribe, comment, give me a thumbs up, share, um, and also uh, for other um, news involving COVID and other things, go to uh, anchor.fm slash just Calvin. And here's a little funny reminder, I will be having interviews uh, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, I believe. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not really sure who I have right now, but I can look that up at some different time. I will put down the names in the um, description below. But once again, please support this channel. Please subscribe, comment, uh, thumbs up, and a share. Thank you. Peace out for now.